Hey folks, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Toyota CHR Koba Hybrid 2022, uh, starting with the logo, which is blue, which means it's hybrid. Now it's got uh, about one, two, three, four, four cameras, and maybe another one on the top. But these four superimpose an image for you to see what the distance is and things like that which I'll show you or I'll put an inset in there and uh, under the fog lights you have sensors so I think it has about four in front here and four at the back before we carry on I just want to let you know that after driving it for a few months uh, Toyota CHR has focused more on style and safety features and compromised on space and comfort. Comfort not so much, but space is lacking a lot. I'll show you what I've done with that also. Now the lights go back this way, like it's uh, Amy Winehouse. And I can't, I don't know if you can see that. There is a Toyota logo, Toyota CHR. There's all these diff hidden things which I keep finding, so I'm very impressed with that. The other cameras are down here under the mirror and what I found out is a lot of them also come with puddle lights which would have been nice to have but Australia doesn't seem to do it sides all good and this handle is one thing that really caught my eye unique which is nice I like the rims I have but the people in the CHR group are sharing quite a few nice rims and things that's the antenna up there and let's uh, tell you other stuff so up there it's got a sensor there's a light sensor down there that helps with the automatic lights if you set lights to automatic down there is the tow bar or tow hook Behind this, there is a radar to sense vehicles and objects. I did notice something when I was just messing around. When I do that, it just feels very soft. Back, usual stuff. Two sensors there, another sensor there. And I've just completed a all lights function, so you'll see that in a separate video, link in the description. I just really love a lot of these contours, just the way it goes, it comes back. And then the little detail of it passing the door there, you'll see a theme of diamond shape a lot. That is the Toyota. What a beauty. What a beauty. Something very interesting with this handle is uh, I didn't know how to open it and then I realized you have to press on that and obviously it does. There we go. It opens for you. And uh, as long as the key is in a certain diameter to the boot or the doors, it has sensors for that. Let's have a look under the hood. Once you have popped the hood a little bit, there is a lever down here, downwards, and you have to push it this way. So that's there. This stick will go in that arrow there. So, we have our fluids, our fuse box, another fluids, engine, battery, some more fuses there, and that's for your windows, and that's your oil change. For the front seats you have um, this thing which moves that in front and back. And this one goes up and down. And this one just reclines that. Now on the back seat over here, you have your vent for the battery that is under the seat. 
and if you can see the screw there somewhere you have to you can open it and give the filter a clean when the filter needs a clean otherwise just vacuum this part uh, every month for the boot next to the camera there's a couple of buttons there you press the big one with your key near you and you push it up so that's our hooks for baby seats some pockets and some more storage for lots of things so I'm gonna move some things in here also to open the seat I won't open this one because the baby seat is there push gives you some more space I have noticed that when I'm trying to close it I need a lot more energy to really bang it down let's check out the inside inside the door space there and a little pocket there so I use this for my rubbish but I'm gonna buy something different which I'm gonna show you later and glove it's all very tight look at that look at that it's all very tight lots of airbags and for mirror you got your usual it switches on the light there switches off the light and a lot of people are complaining about mobile space and where to put your phone so even if I do put my phone in there a slight turn and things just fall off everywhere so it's not the best it's got a cup holder there this one is not adjustable this one is few things I've added is this wallet because I keep dropping my phone in there my other cable and uh, there's a lot of space in there and there's another thing you can put on top of here to place your phone if you want to place your phone there I make a lot of videos I like watching maps and things so I have a few different ones I have this guy and it does the job but it's it breaks so this thing falls apart that thing falls apart I wouldn't recommend it and then I have this guy which is my go-to when I'm talking to the phone and making videos for my son you have your headrests I have made a separate video on the automatic mirror usual lights usual handles it's got all these diamond themes Diamond team, diamond team, and just you see all that space. I really wish there was a way to do something more because it's so not friendly when it comes to placing your phone. There's there's a strange attachment you can put here. There's a strange attachment you can put here. I'll put in the links, but then that blocks this bit. So they haven't really thought about. Hey, I want to use my phone. Again, it's got a holder for drinks, a holder for that. And when I bought, so I bought this thing also because I didn't have space. Extra, I like to keep a pen with me at all times. And I'll be buying a bag for bin, bin stuff over here. No ashtray or no extra compartment there. If I close it, the view is a bit locked out for me there. I must say the back space is a bit more spacious than the front. And you actually feel like, wow, you know. And finally, of course, that knob over there covers, there's a cover for protecting or your stuff from view and the sun and whatever else but yeah any questions feel free to ask and I shall answer ASAP
and I believe that helps with the 